The much-awaited auction for the 5G telecom spectrum commenced today. Reliance Geo, Adani Group, Party Airtel and Vodafone Idea are the four major participants in the auction. Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi had recently approved the Department of Delhi Communications 5G Spectrum auction through which Spectrum will be assigned the bidders to provide 5G services to the public as well as enterprises. India is expected to get full-fledged 5G services by March 2023, said Union Communications Minister Ashwini Vaishno at an event recently. Vaishno said that the auction of the 5G spectrum will be completed by July end, adding telecom is the primary source of digital consumption and it is very important to bring trusted solutions in telecom. India has its own stack of 4G like radio equipment and handset. 4G is ready to deploy in the field and 5G is ready in the lab and 5G will be ready to deploy in March 2023. The technology core network behind 5G services should be built up by India that would be an achievement for the country, said Vishnu. Coming to the speed capacities of 5G services would be about 10 times higher than what is possible through the current 4G services. Gautam Matani led Atani Group participating in the bidding process of the 5G telecom spectrum auction is something special as it has forayed into the telecom sector. However, the group has no intention to enter the consumer mobility space. Adani Group is participating in the 5G auction to provide private network solutions along with enhanced cybersecurity at airports, boards and logistics, power generation, transmission, distribution and various manufacturing operations. The DOT is expecting anywhere between INR 70,000 crore to INR 1 lakh crore from the auctions, ushering in modern products and business models that will enable ultra-high speeds that are about 10 times faster than 4G. The government has put up a staggering 72 gigahertz of 72,000 megahertz of mobile airways on sale, which makes this auction the biggest ever sale of Spectrum. By comparison, in the March 2021 auctions, the government had put up just 2,250 megahertz on sale. Furthermore, this time around bands such as 600 megahertz, 5G airways like 3000 megahertz and 26 gigahertz are being auctioned for the very first time. According to the Department of Telecom, upfront payment is not mandatory for the companies. The money can be paid in 20 equal installments. This can ease the burden for telecommunication companies such as Vodafone Idea. This is also beneficial for India as a whole as the nation tries to catch up with other countries including China and South Korea that have had 5G networks for many years. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that 5G technology will strengthen the health, education, logistics and infrastructure sectors. It will boost India's economic growth by INR 36 lakh crore in the next 15 years. That's all for now. Keep watching on Bill TV.